Studio One has a massive collection of analog model compressors and EQs that you can use right inside of their fat channel plugin. And the question I get all the time is, is it as good as the original hardware? In today's video, I am not gonna compare it against the original hardware because I don't use hardware, I do everything in the box, but I'm gonna compare it to the closest thing, which is UAD plugins. And I think they are the closest thing that you can actually get to hardware. So in this video, I'm going to be putting fat channel and UAD plugins head to head to see which one comes out on top. And the two emulations I'm going to be focusing in on today are the LA-2A and the Poltec EQ. These are some of my favorite tools ever. So let me show you what I'm starting with here. So that's what the track sounds like. That's what the vocal sounds like. Now I'm going to turn off all compression. And then I'm going to cycle between the Fat Channels LA-2A and the UA LA-2A. And now I will say the knobs have to be in different places for the Fat Channel and for the UA to actually get a similar result. I really tried messing with these to get them to sound as close as I could between the two. And you just can't do a one-to-one -one recreation of the knobs. I have the gain knob at around 40 in the UA and the peak reduction around 30. And for the Fat Channel, channel I have it like almost 70 and then almost 60 here on peak reduction so I am pushing this a little bit harder in the fat channel emulation now let's solo the vocal and cycle between the two first we're going to do the fat channel you, you always know just what to say you bring the light back into my day you lift me up when I'm feeling down you turn my whole world all around my whole world all around. As you can see, they're really, really close. There are some differences, but if you just tweak the knobs, you can actually get a surprisingly great result out of the fat channel emulations. Now let's do it in the context of the mix. In the context of the mix, I really can't hear that much of a difference, and I'm seriously surprised with the Fat Channel emulations. Now on to my second favorite piece of hardware ever, which is the Poltec EQ. Now one of my favorite things to do with the Poltec EQ is to do what's called the Poltec Punch, which is you boost a little bit of the low end and then you attenuate that as well. I usually like to set the low frequency to 30 hertz. I will boost it by four and then attenuate it by four, and then I will set the attenuation level to a 20 here. I also like to add some crispness top end to this as well around 10k and then I will boost at at five and attenuate at like a 4.2 ish and that's what I like to do on the UA Poltec now to get a similar result with the fat channel I'm attenuating a 10 and boosting by 1.2 I found this to be extremely aggressive and then also on the high frequencies I am pushing about 10 and this one was a little bit more accurate on the top end where I am boosting around 5 and attenuating around 5 as well so I had to boost it just a little bit harder but I noticed that low end is really really heavy on this emulation I kind of want to show you what it sounds like without anything at all and then I'm going to turn on the UAD so that way you actually understand what I'm doing with this plug-in to begin with <laughs> So you can really see that I'm adding a little bit of that low end punch to it, which is why it's called the Poltec Punch. And then I have a lot of that crispy top airy stuff going on with it as well. It's one of my favorite, favorite EQs to grab. Now we'll cycle between the Fat Channel and the UAD emulations.
Now to show you wh why I really mentioned that there's a lot of extra low end that happens in the fat channel emulation, I'm going to set the same settings at a four and then do the same thing here and attenuate it at about a four and listen to how much low end is pushing through this track. <laughs> It's starting to distort the track. So I found that I could get a similar result with the attenuation all the way up to 10 and then boosting this at around 1.6 dB. And I am getting a very, very similar result. Let me know which emulation was your favorite in the comments down below. By the way, I do have Studio One vocal presets that you can just drag and drop right onto Studio One. I will leave that link to that down in the description below. No third party plugins required at all for that one. Now the song you've been listening to the whole time has actually been completely written by AI. And if you wanna see me write that song with AI, you're gonna wanna click on this video right here. In that video, I actually produced an entire song that AI wrote for me and you're gonna wanna see it. So click on that video, I'll see you over there. And now as always, go create.